Greetings, everyone. Your friendly neighborhood technical success manager, Nicholas, here once more for SignalWire in seconds. Today, I'm delighted to introduce you to the unparalleled simplicity of Swimmel, SignalWire's new markup language. If you watched our previous episode, you know that Swimmel is a powerful manifestation of call flow instructions, definitely expressed in YAML or JSON. Resembling traditional CPaaS solutions, Swimmel surpasses them, boasting greater flexibility and potency through its underlying technology stack, free switch. Follow along as I adroitly guide you through Swimmel's essentials en route to developing sophisticated call flows in an astonishingly low code fashion. I'll start by configuring my SignalWire phone number to interpret a Swimmel script. When this phone number receives an incoming call, it'll automatically send a post request to its associated webhook. This webhook will contain the script's currently defined call object and variables. In return, a server, be it SignalWire's or your own, replies with the Swimmel script, ready to execute. In the interest of time, I'll focus today's video on crafting a Swimmel script entirely within my SignalWire space using YAML. You can, however, also implement the native functionality of your preferred programming language to write Swimmel in a JSON format. After configuring my phone number, I'll visit the starkly named relay slash Swimmel tab of my SignalWire space. Consider Swimmel the relay equivalent of compatibility XML. Herein, I'll select new to generate a new Swimmel script. I'll name my script tutorial. Now it's time to code. Each Swimmel script begins with an optional version field, a string representing a semantic version of the document schema. Up next are the sections. Every Swimmel script is built using a non-optional sections field that features a mandated main section. Each section is an array of strings or objects that comprises Swimmel statements and methods. Statements control the script's flow or manage the call state while methods provide the catalyst for a call's output. The main section is always executed first. Utilizing the play method and its say parameter, the most basic Swimmel script might look and sound a bit like this. Hello from SignalWire in seconds. Rapid iteration is a key component of SignalWire's charisma and Swimmel's uniqueness. Unlike older XML-based systems, Swimmel enables the expression of an entire call flow within a singular document. Label enables you to denote the subdivisions within the sections of your Swimmel document. These are useful when crafting transfer, go to, or execute statements that transport callers to disparate parts of a call flow. To add a bit of branching logic to my flow, I'll introduce the prompt method. I can prompt the caller to input a digit or enable speech detection using one of its parameters. The following switch statement will execute instructions that correspond to the caller's input using the prompt value variable. Note, all variables are global and their scope corresponds to the scope of the call, not of the section and not of the script. I envision using the first branch of my flow to connect callers to a sales representative. With the connect method, I can forward callers to a combination of PSTN numbers and SIP endpoints, ringing each serially or simultaneously in parallel. Additionally, I'll employ the call.from call object parameter to pass the original inbound caller ID through to my endpoints. For the second branch of my flow, I'll send the caller directly to voicemail using the record method. Finally, instructions entered into the default parameter will execute if the caller elects to disregard the desired inputs set forth in the prompt. The latest iteration of my Swimmel script tutorial has taken form. Intuitively, each string or object within our sections array will be executed in order until the section is completed. When there are no more methods left to execute, the call will end. Let's take it for a spin. Hello from signal wire in seconds. Press one for sales or say two for support. Two. Support is unavailable at this time. Please leave a voicemail after the beep. Already, you can begin to imagine how SignalWire's new markup language, Swimmel, equips developers with the necessary tools to create intricate call flows using an infinitesimal amount of code. Check out our companion blogs at SignalWire.com to read how you can harness the power of SignalWire's new AI agent using Swimmel. And for more SignalWire in seconds, be sure to smash that subscribe button below.